packed here at the uh, 2019 Silverado reveal. Uh, and as you can see, there's a number of different trucks behind me. And uh, it's tough to get a clean shot, tough to get inside. But uh, it's exciting. And of course, the food and the booze is flowing freely here. And we've got uh, one of the engineers, Joe Folk, here. And Joe's going to tell us what he finds most exciting about what he's done with the Silverado. Joe, what's your title? I, I know it's big and it's long and, it, and it, it's bigger than mine. What did you hear at Chevrolet? I, I'm the assistant chief engineer of small block truck engines. Oh, okay. So, of course, the part I would like to talk to you about is the uh, small block engines in the next generation Silverado. Nice. Uh, Chevrolet has had active fuel management uh, since 2005 in the Silverado product. Right. But with the next generation Silverado, we're introducing dynamic fuel management. Okay. So what that is, is with active fuel management, we were able to deactivate four out of the eight cylinders. But with dynamic fuel management, we now have the hardware to deactivate uh, cylinders on all eight of the cylinders so that we can control them individually. Uh, that dynamic fuel management, uh, based on the customer's speeds, loads, yeah. and needs, uh, we can operate uh, different patterns of cylinders to give them exactly what they want while, uh, while getting improved efficiency. Okay. Now, and maybe I'm stepping over the line here for what you're about to tell me right now, but you know, that 30 mile per gallon target on the highway that people want to see. Are we going to see that in the ship? We're not announcing fuel economy numbers at this time, Okay, but stay tuned. <laughs> All right. You know I will. Thanks very much, Joe. It was Thank a pleasure. You. A little bit more Silverado news. I actually dragged one of the Canadian designers for the interior. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you did on the interior. Yeah, so I'm responsible for the, the whole interior. Yeah, and this is a ground up, all new. Right, all new interior. More leg room, more yeah. room in the cab, more headroom, seat sits higher. This vehicle was developed around giving the customer more space. Right. So, I mean, when you say ground up, like you guys start with a blank slate inside, you throw out everything that was old Chevy Silverado and... So, to a certain extent, yes. Right? There is nothing in there that's being carried over from something else. Right. It is all brand new. But I'll tell you, our current Silverado is an awesome truck. So we've really taken the Silverado that we have and built on that. Yeah. So we don't want to throw out what we have because we got a great vehicle today. What we've done is we've taken the vehicle that we have, listened to our customers, the things that they're concerned about, yep. giving them more space, giving them the durability, right. really giving them a lot of storage opportunities, and that's what we focused on. Yep. Yeah, and I, you know, I mean, I think the interior looks good, and it's super functional, which is the other thing, because you know, most of the time, especially for Canadians, it's all about work and play, and uh, we need that inside to work for us. Now, did you have a, an inspiration? Where did you, what did you draw on when you were designing the inside of this? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, we look at a couple of things when we talk about trucks. Functionality is the number one. Yeah. Functionality, we have to have it. Durability is critical because it is a truck and yeah. it's a tool. Yeah. Yeah. And then we talk about when we talk about the truck, we're gonna talk about the command center. And that's that whole center area right. built around the screens and the buttons and the knobs. And that gets that usability. So usability for our customers. Yeah. I think you did a hell of a job. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, great talking to you. Take care. Thanks. It is nice inside. Got lots of headroom. I'm not the tallest guy on the planet, but still, there's lots going on up here, even if you're six foot, six foot two. Lots of legroom inside, excellent displays, nice steering wheel, nice fit and finish on the entire unit. I'm told about I'm the chief engineer on the 10 speed transmission product. Yep. And so, 2019 Silverado, what's your favorite feature? What are you most excited about about this product? Well, I would say I work on the 10 speed, so I'm, I'm very stoked about the 10 speed, but we'll have the 10 speed and the two power. Uh, combinations that we talked about, or we're talking about today, that's yep. 6.2 liter with the uh, dynamic uh, fuel management and then the uh, in new inline six cylinder diesel, so those are very exciting for us. The 5.3 liter gas engine will also have the yep. fuel management system on it. Yep. Yep. Uh, now, you know the diesel, uh, that's got to be a big part of the Silverado and that uh, selling feature. Really, a lot of guys, myself included, you know, we love the oil burners, we're excited about the diesel. Um, you know, do you think that's the kind of thing that's going to replace perhaps the five liter gas? You know, I, I think we'll have to see where the market takes it. It's obviously a very exciting product for yeah. GM. Too. It, it will be class leading and it's something we really look forward to getting out to the public. Yeah, and you know what? As one of the public, I can't wait to see it. So we're here at the tail end of the Silverado reveal on this uh, wonderful night here in Detroit. And I've got Doug Kenzie with me to talk a little bit about the Canadian market. So Doug, what are Canadians going to love about the Silverado? Awesome. Well, first of all, thanks for being here, Perry. We're excited to launch the all-new 2019 Silverado. 
And what are Canadians going to love about this? The big thing is that we've got eight different trim levels. Wow. For Silverado, it's not a one truck fits all customers. We've got eight different trim levels. Right now, we're standing in front of the Trail Boss. We're very excited about this truck. Comes with a factory two inch lift. No chrome on this truck, all black, all color keyed. And that's just one example. We've got many different uh, trim levels that consumers, whether they like chrome or they want body colored, that we've got a truck for their needs. And I think that's what's really going to resonate with Canadian customers. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, typically we're not a flashy crowd, so a lack of chrome is a good thing. And uh, I mean, everybody wants to lift their truck. It's Perry, it's, it's warranty from the factory. It's validated from the factory. You're not going to have any problems with it. You just buy it and away you go. You're good to go. Yeah, that's dope. Awesome. Hey, thanks for taking time with us today. Awesome truck. Thanks, thanks, for, you soon, thanks for being here. Looking forward to it. All right. So tonight was the night that we really were waiting for with the new 2017 Silver Auto Reveal. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get a lot of details. We didn't get engine details, no horsepower, no torque, no fuel economy numbers. We actually did get to sit in the truck, we got in, we got a good look at it, got to touch it, which is a big deal compared to our show at the Texas Motor Speedway. But we're still waiting for those hard and fast numbers.